Hi, this is AJ from WPExplorer.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create equal height columns using the total work receipt. So I'm going to go ahead by adding a new row. And I'm going to make this row three columns. And then I'm going to add in some icon boxes. So icon box. And I'm going to select style box with top icon. That way it'll be easier to see. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this a couple times. Alright, so for example, this middle one, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a lot more content. So There we go. So now you can see that they're different heights, of course, because this one has more content. Now if I wanted to, I could make them all the exact height, and it's very simple. Because they're all inside a single row, all I'm going to do is edit one, and then I give it the class equal height column. And I'm gonna give it to whoops. I'm gonna give it to all of them. You won't be able to see the change in the visual uh, composer backend, but once you update it and you check it out live, let me just exit it out. You can see now that they're all the same height. And this example, of course, doesn't look amazing, but you can see how useful it'll be um, for other options. Now if we go back to the editor, oops, let me refresh it. So it shows our modules. If you go back to the editor, now if you were to add a third one right below it, down here, it's not going to take on the same equal height. So you will have to create a row for all of them. And that's a good habit anyway because on responsive, you want the, the columns to line up perfectly. So you can create another row and then again add three more columns and then you can set those ones inside the row the same height. You can't just have, but you can't have, let's say, six in the same row and apply the, the custom class because it will not work.